The mystery of the Messiah. Is the mystery of the Messiah about him being Yahweh in the flesh, or the mystery of the Trinity, or something else? Let's take a look. Romans 16, verse 25 and 26. Now to him who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel, and the preaching of Yeshua Messiah, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but has now been disclosed. Chuck Henry, a late brother in the faith, said this, quote, The mystery spoken of in Scripture about the Messiah is that redemption through him was planned since the beginning, but was not generally known until later. It is now revealed and thus is no longer a mystery. This mystery has nothing to do with how many persons constitute the Almighty. End quote. Page 44 from the book Trinity, Oneness, Duality, and Preexistence by Chuck Henry. I'm in total agreement with this. The mystery had nothing to do with Yahweh becoming a man and dying for us, or the mystery of the Trinity. There is no mention of Yeshua having to be the Almighty in order to be our Anointed One, also known as Messiah. Just to clarify, what is this mystery Paul mentions? This mystery of the Messiah was simply about the men of old, the men who were believers for ages and generations before Yeshua was born. They did not know exactly how Yah would bring salvation and restoration to the earth after the fall of man in the garden. These men of old all had a sort of silhouette of who this Messiah would be, a general idea on how Yah the Father would provide salvation and restoration to the earth. Clues were given such as, the seed will crush the head of the serpent in Genesis 3.15, and follow the scepter until Shiloh comes in Genesis 49.10, and the blood of a spotless lamb will protect you from death in Exodus 12, and so on. It was a mystery until Yeshua came, fulfilled his first ministry, died, resurrected to become our king. Hallelujah. Colossians 1, verse 26 and 27. The mystery hidden for ages and generations, but now revealed to his saints. To them Elohim chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is Messiah in you, the hope of glory. Paul says in Romans 16, the mystery is no more. We, the saints, see the revelation of the mystery. It's Yeshua who's the seed that crushed sin and death. It's Yeshua who's Shiloh, the king of Israel, a direct descendant of King David. It's Yeshua who's the perfect Lamb of Yah who takes away the sins of the world and will restore all things in heaven and on earth at his second coming. From the beginning and all throughout the ages, this was Yahweh's plan, purpose, and will to appoint and anoint Yeshua as the Messiah. A mystery no more. Ephesians 1, verse 9 and 10, making known to us the mystery of his will, that is Yahweh's will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Messiah as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Hallelujah. Please let me know if you are interested in having a free copy of Chuck Henry's book, Trinity, Oneness, Duality, and Preexistence. All I'll need is an email sent with your address, and I'll gladly bless you with this book. My email is kingdomseekers1000 at gmail.com. Thank you, and shalom.